it's Danielle from Banning Lane and I am here with another process video using my Felicity Jane Savannah kit. Now I already have my photos printed out and I've matted them with some white paper and I'm just trying to decide what size I want to use. As you can tell I settled on the 3x4 size and now I'm just using some patterned paper from my kit to layer behind my photos. Now I picked two papers that were pretty subtle in pattern and color just because I knew that I wanted to use a lot of embellishments on this layout and so I wanted there be, to be some interest behind my photos and some layers behind them but I didn't want it to be too loud and busy. I had almost decided that I just maybe wanted to use that pink paper instead of splitting you know instead of using the two different papers but I didn't I wanted there to be more interest than that so I decided that I really liked this um, sort of offset rectangle look of the two pattern papers and so I settled on that. Now it was at this point that I decided that I wanted to have a border around my whole layout so I cut a decent sized strip off of two of the sides and then I also took this uh, tiny black polka dot paper and I cut the middle out of it. That small black polka dot paper is my favorite paper of all time. I love it so I wasn't going to let any of it go to waste behind this layout and that is why I gutted the center out of it. And now that I know what space I kind of have to work with, I can get these photos in place. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm trying to make it look somewhat even though I'm not super concerned about it. Um, when I first placed these photos down, I thought they were a little bit too far apart. Uh, they were a little bit too offset. And so you'll see that I fiddle around with these for just a bit. But these are photos of me and my husband on the right and my brother and his wife on the left. And we had went on a date together to a theme park and it was a lot of fun. And so I definitely wanted to get these photos scrapbooked. So now that I have my photos and my layers and all of that in place, I can start working on embellishing it. And I've already pre-picked the embellishments that I wanted to use. And the idea that I had in mind is I was going to make a strip of embellishments down the uh, sort of right hand side of my layout. Um, and so I had some of these bits and pieces that I knew where I wanted them. For instance, I knew I wanted the puffy love this stickers to kind of be where they're at right there around there. And I wanted this gold strip phrase strip that says let's do this to be towards the top. And then I pulled out another one of those gold phrase stickers just to balance out the gold. And so I want that to be towards the bottom of my layout. Um, and so I put down the things where I knew I wanted them first and then from there I literally just started placing these things down on my paper until I thought that the balance looked good. Um, I just took any of, you know, any label that was in there, any sort of um, strip. I used a few of the puffy stickers because I liked that. Uh, of course the love this is good and I liked this arrow. I just thought it was cute. And then I used a couple of the puffy hearts. This flare says hashtag happy. And then I used one of the letter, the, or the, I should say number stickers, and I picked a four because there was four of us. And I'm just laying them all down. So once I decided that it looked pretty good, I glued everything down. And I did change a couple things from what we saw. I added a piece of washi from my stash, and I also added this label from my stash. The red label that I put there before was just a little bit too small for the space I wanted it to, to fit in. So I added that. But other than that, things are really close to being the same. Now I knew I wanted to use some stamps in some of these labels and there is one on this stamp set that says love this day. And so I pulled that one out and I'm gonna put in this little red label. And I'm using some gray ink. Gray seems to be my ink of choice lately and I can't really get away from it. Anytime I try to use a color, I just don't like it as much. Stamping in general scares me on my layouts, especially at this point when I have so much of it done. And I think that when you use gray, it's not too harsh and it's not a color, so it's not going to stand out super good. So it's kind of a, a safe choice to use, um, but it's my favorite too. I just am kind of liking the neutral, the neutralness of it and the, the gray color in general. 
Now the next stamp I use is just a stamp that has a bunch of X's in a row and I layer it on a couple of the labels. I kind of think that it looks like stitching. I, I really like it. So uh, I, like I said, stamp that on a couple of the labels and then I just make sure everything is stuck down and in place and is good to go here. And it was at this point that I realized that I still needed to add my journaling and I didn't really leave a good spot for that. So I'm just trying to think of what options I have available where I possibly could do my journaling. And then I decide that I wanted to add some stitching to my layout. So I just took the layout over to my sewing machine and I stitched through a couple of the labels and, and some of the stickers. And I really like how it adds even more texture and interest to that strip of embellishments. I really like how that turned out. And then I just needed to tackle the journaling portion. And what I decided to do was write a story on a tag and then tuck it into a pocket behind my layout. And so I took a circle punch and I just cut a notch out of the side of my layout. And then that's where I'll put, I'll make a pocket behind that, behind that notch and then tuck my, tuck my journaling behind there. I realize this is not the most convenient spot to put journaling just because you'll have to pull my page out of the page protector to, to read it. But I, it doesn't really bother me because I think even if it was in a convenient spot, like at the top of the layout, most of the time people aren't going to pull that tag out to read it. So I'm not really concerned about where it is. It was just the best option for this layout. On my tag, I just wrote about our date. Uh, we live near an amusement park and every year they transform it into something really scary and spooky at Halloween time. And I've never been tempted to go because I hate being scared, but my little brother talked us into going this year and we ended up having a lot of fun. And I think that we'll probably end up going next year too. It was just, it was just fun to be there, though it was pretty scary. I, I was probably the most scared, uh, but it, it was just a lot of fun. After I get my journaling tucked into its little pocket, I call this layout done. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching, and I would definitely encourage you guys to head on over to FelicityJane.com to check out all the other fun, fun projects by the creative team over there. I will link to that down below. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.